Hi everyone, welcome to Edupedia World. This is Varun Ganga. In this session, we are going to have a look of an example regarding multiplication of numbers by using case number 3 Nikram Sutra. In our earlier sessions, we have seen many examples regarding this case number 3 Nikram Sutra. In this session too, we are going to have a look of an example. So, to illustrate this case number 3 Nikram Sutra, the example that I am going to take here is 54 into 43. So, whenever you see the numbers that we are going to multiply, you have to think about the base. So, this is being case number 3 Niklam Sutra and case number 3 Niklam Sutra explains that one number should be more than the base and the other should be less than the base. So, therefore, here the base that I am going to take here is 50. So, when you compare the numbers 54 and 50, here 54 is more. And when you compare the base 50 and 43, 43 is less. So, we are following here case number 3 Niklam Sutra. After finding the base for these two numbers, we have to write the numbers one below the other like this. So, 54 below that 43 by placing a horizontal bar and a vertical bar along with it. So, that this is split into two parts. One is left column and the other is right column. On the left column, you can see the numbers 54 and 43. On the right column, we have to write the numbers when we compare the numbers that is 50 and 54, 50 and 43. When you compare the numbers 50 and 54, here 54 is having 4 more than the base. So, we have to place plus 4 on the right column. And when you compare the numbers 50 and 43, here 43 is having 7 less than the base. So, it's being the less number you have to place minus along with 7 here on the right column side. So, it's being the less number. So, that's why I have kept a minus in front of the number 7. So, after that, now what we are going to do here is we are just going to multiply these two numbers that we have got on the right column side. If you multiply plus 4 and minus 7, you will get minus 28. And it should be written on the bottom of the right column side. After that, we just do cross simplification on either of the ways. If you do 54 minus 7, you will get 47. If you do 43 plus 4, you will get 47. So, in either of the ways, if you do simplification, you will get 47 as an answer itself. So, this 47 should be written on the bottom of the left column side. After writing this 47, now you just Check out the number that you got on the bottom of the right column side. Here you got minus 28. It's being a negative number. So, whenever you get a negative number, there is no need to check out that how many zeros are there in the base or else how many digits that you have got on the bottom of the right column. You just multiply the numbers 50 and 47. That is the base and the number that you got on the bottom of the left column side. So, here you have to multiply 47 and 50. So, when you multiply 47 and 50, you will get 2350. Now, you just subtract the number that you got on the bottom of the right column side with the number 2350. If you observe in our earlier sessions, that is while applying case number 2 or case number 1, you can observe that here, I have got only positive numbers. So, that is why the reason I have been doing addition at that time. But here, I have got a negative number. So, whenever you get a negative number, you just subtract that number from the product of the base and the number that you got on the bottom of the left column. So, here I am doing subtraction. So, when you do subtraction here, you will get 2322 as an answer. So, when you multiply 54 with 43, the answer that you are going to get is 2322. Hope that you have understood very well about how to use this case number 3 Niklam Sutra. The only thing that you have to keep it in your mind is about the base. So, while finding the base by applying case number 3 Niklam Sutra, you have to keep it in mind that one number should be more than the base and the other number should be less than the base. So, if you just remember this case number 3 Niklam Sutra. All the rest is very easy to do. I hope that you have enjoyed very well this class. Thank you. Have a nice day.